Okay. All right, ready? Yeah, give about 30 seconds. We'll be ready to go. Okay. No. Okay, you're ready. All right, let's call this meeting to order. This is a special meeting, June 24th, 2020. A couple, three items on the agenda. Uh, the first, we'll call this, a, let's, let's start them off just like we always do with a prayer and a pledge. Ernie, do the prayer, please. I only do the prayer. Please. Lord, we love you and thank you for us today. We just pray that you can bless the country, Lord. Just fill those that are sick with this virus. We pray that you have rid us of this quickly. And we pray that as we do the business of the county today, you'd help us make good, wise decisions that benefits everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, DC. Keep right on the agenda. Is Diane, Diane's not on here yet. Karen? Yeah. I guess I can have Abby two minutes on this thing then. She's in here with me, so. Well, they can go back and watch it. Yeah, well, I'll just have her do the minutes on this thing. And because I don't know where Diane's at. She was having trouble with hers the other day. Come on. So. Andrew, you look up wide awake this morning. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, first item on the agenda is to. Uh, The salary correction for the new budget that we passed in the last meeting, uh, Ernie 911 didn't give him all the information, Tony, that he needed. And they do and now they've got it all, but him and Sharon got it all straightened up, except Stanley Hayes going over on salary. The rest of them have been straightened up. Ernie, have you don't have that one, do you? I made the corrections and sent to Sharon um, for the new salary schedule. Um, there were some that were missed in there uh, due to the fact that I started 2019 and get credit for the 20 years. So I made those adjustments um, and uh, one wasn't certified. And so we moved it and on certified position the corrections are all highlighted and everything that was in one, three, four, five, six, seven, they're highlighted green that I sent over um, that needed to be corrected. Okay, well, you add Stanley on there. We give him the option. He can either stay on the hour or go on salary. Well, he's talking to Sharon and he, he thinks he'd be better off over on salary also. Yeah. Uh, do you say to move him to salary rather? Yes. Okay. Remember that's what you had recommended earlier. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, yeah, the recommendation is he's on salary. You moved him up. You done his overtime and tried to figure out. And... Yeah. So can you figure that in, Sharon? Is that, is that enough information? Well, we have to pass the action down. It corrected all the for yeah, on, on the one that I said, I didn't change him back to hourly on that final. So it's showing him at uh, salary included, but he'll be salaried. Okay. So it, is, it is correct on there. Okay. Um, what about Jeff you have his old here, and it's you're breaking up. Sorry, Doug Buford. Would it be better if we all mute except the one that's talking? Yes, uh, 
Doug called. Um, his is his old rate. You're moving it, it shows moving him to a new rate, but he's already been at that rate, so he should have the three. Right. Um, let me fix that here. So it would move him to 1761. Is that that's to men plus the three percent? or at 1710 um, and has been a while. So when we do the 3%. Uh, okay, yeah, 1761.30. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's Doug you're working on? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's corrected. Okay. Uh, Stanley is corrected already on there. Um, is there any others you see that's? No, I didn't. I didn't see anybody else. Uh, Sharon, I think he added out in the comments. Uh, I don't remember whether we did it or not, or if you needed to do it, just the CPI index too for uh, uh, any of the yeah. get percentage that Bobby received. Right. I couldn't rem I couldn't remember if we did it but so I think he just put it out in the notes. Yeah. Um I, I think you really need to say it separately. Because the way it's written in the notes, it says that it'll be changed before the primary election to the new minimum. But that's not like you can receive the CPI starting July 1st with everybody else. Right. If you. What's it? Does anybody remember? Is it like 1%, 0.9? Yeah. One something. Yeah, one something, but I can't remember exactly what it was. That says it includes the state yearly CPI. So what that new minimum will be in the future includes those CPI adjustments over the next few years that we will vote on individually. All right, is there anything else on this salary schedule, Ernie, Sharon, that we need to do? I'm emailing it to you all right now. Okay, I would so set, um, passing the CPI for the commissioners separately. Oh, okay. So Something do look at, do they make sure it's, it's written out in our minutes. Okay. Bob, you need a motion to accept the corrected yes. salary yes. schedule? Yes, sir. I'll make, I'll make that motion. I have a motion yes. right here, a second by Andrew. Any more discussion? All in favor? Uh, Isaiah. Uh, All right. Next item. Hey, Bobby, we need that second. We need that second motion of elected officials receiving the state CPI adjusted rate. And are you going to announce what that is? Uh, it's just. Yeah. About 1%, I think. Uh, but I, I'll let Sharon look at whatever that value is. I tried to find it earlier today and I couldn't. I don't know if she's got it or not. Give me just a second. Let me pull Bobby's personnel folder. Okay. I was thinking, Tony, it was like 1.72 or 1.82, but I'm not for sure. You're muted, Tony. Yeah, Tony, you're muted. We didn't hear a word you said. I said, uh, yeah, I think the, uh, that's about the highest you've ever got. You've had a couple of years of a percent or something. Yeah, it wasn't very much at all, yeah. I 
I tried to find it on Keiko and I, I couldn't find it. Well, Sharon ought to be able to figure it her in a minute. Yeah, I think she, um, they sent her a schedule. Sherry's trying to find it in his folder. Well, we can go on and do the rest of this and come back to that, can't we? Yeah. All right. Let me go on down. I got two things that I need to do. Next item of business is uh, I, I want to make a motion to hire Jacob Light for courthouse security at $12 an hour. He's starting Monday, June the 29th. And he'll be out here taking over where the sheriff's department has been doing it for me. And also on, I guess on the same motion, I want to hire Elijah Raby at $10 an hour for summer help. And he's going to be working at the animal shelter starting Tuesday, the 30th. And I made that a motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second, I'll second, but I've got some questions. Go ahead. Uh, with, with the light boy, Jacob Light, I think. Okay. What, what's your future down the road? Or is that uh, once this COVID virus is over, uh, I mean, at some point it's going to get over with, I, or either we're going to all be in trouble anyway. But is that, are you thinking of permanent or temporary to? I heard him permanent because I think we ought to go to the one entrance from now on and you know even if they don't do anything he can at least check people's temperatures until this thing's over with but uh he also you know he worked part-time at the jail or he does or right now that's where i got him from but uh yeah i, I think this is something we need to do as a permanent position because you know they've got one at every other courthouse except us i think Boyd County's got one. About everybody I've been in, Carter's got one. And they just check you, even if not during the pandemic. At least they can guide you and take, send you to the place where they want you to go. I'm just waiting for anybody else to jump in there and see what they... Um, what kind of uh, role do you see them doing as security? Is it going to be carrying a gun? Or no, no, I don't I think, want him carrying a gun. Um, He'll be, I, I want him to have a shirt on that's got a badge on it, you know, or a things, courthouse security. Just, I, I went up and kind of copied it off of a couple other places. But I just want him to just maintain where people's coming in the door. We're going to use the front door as the entrance. And I hopefully one of these days when AOC will go along with it, I want to move the I'd like to move the metal detector or buy one put down there. Then we can stop everything coming in. But right now, all I want him to do is this, is this, we can even have him checking temperatures if we want him to, but I want him to offer everybody a mask that comes in the door. Even if they don't, they don't have to take it, but I'd like for them to. And then, you know, we'll just have to kind of play it by ear and go from there. That, that's my thoughts on this thing that we've got to have something out there and I don't have, I can't rely on the, you know, I can't depend on the sheriff to do it for me because that's just not right on, you know, that's taking his people and we need to be doing that ourselves. That's our job. And at $12 an hour, we're not going to go broke uh, working him and if it don't work out, we can always put him somewhere else if that ain't what he wants to do. He'd like to go on to be a deputy sheriff is what he'd like to be. But with that's what? a mess. See, Matt and them are not allowed to hire anybody. They got a freeze on. I, I heard somebody else say they had, oh, I know that's getting off subject. I heard where they said that it was a freeze on the sheriff's department. The sheriff is a, a locally elected office. Who's got the freeze on him? He told me that uh, I guess the court system told him he couldn't hire anybody else. Oh, from that standpoint. And yeah. From that okay. standpoint. That's what I wanted him to hire this boy for and then put him out here in the front. But uh, he couldn't. So I said I, we could hire him. 
And then if we have to, we can switch it back around one of these days if something got if we get hard up and have to. I'll go along. I, I, I'll go along with that if I already think it's okay. The one one thing is right now, okay, to kind of control the flow, and uh, that may be the wrong word to. No, that's good. To screen to screen and also offer assistance to people. There's a lot of people who don't know what room they still need to go to, but I like what you said there. If uh, we will evaluate it, and if Matt's freeze comes off. He's got an employee possibly there that he knows now, and he may want to hire him, and we can roll him. Uh, we can work some deal out with the sheriff's department maybe later on. But for now, I'm willing to to, uh, to go along with this, and, and we'll evaluate it a little closer, a little farther on down the road. Is that Yeah, and then another thing while we're on this subject, uh, well, let's get that done, and I'll go back to what I want to talk to you all about. Too. Uh, I, I, you second my motion, Tony? Yes, I did. Well, we need to, I think you need to make a different motion because the summer belt is in 50 an hour now. So you need to revise your motion. Okay. So you're saying all summer help went to 1050, correct? Yes. Yep. All right. I'll just back up and change my, the amount sharing on the, on Eli, Elijah Raby, because I, I hired him at $10, but at $10.50, if that's what we changed it to. Now. Yeah, I forgot about that. Too. All in favor? Uh, uh, I say. Now, what about, Joe Taylor brought it up last uh, other day. His summer help to come back, they've been here two years. They were making less than the others. They'll all go to the 1050, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, after we got looking at that, Arnie just called up something. I said, well, Arnie, if we add up the the, the three or the four percent over the last few years, I, th I think they're making less than what they used to. And that's when he, I think he caught it and, and said, yeah, let's uh, raise it up to the 1050. Okay. Now, we've got those two things. Sharon, did you get find out what the other was? It is three. How much? Two point three. Oh, that's about the big Getting thing. rich this year. I'll make that motion uh, for the two point three CPI adjustment. Second. Right. Have a motion. Second. Any more discussion on it? All in favor? Uh, uh, <laughs> I have it. All right. Now I talked to uh, DLG Friday at length on this cope we got what i tell you we had we got 1.1 million 1.3 million dollars uh in the in this COVID money we've got until the end of the year we can charge salaries to it we can charge uh i'm even going to try on buford and them when they move they're trying to get that uh generator set i want i'm going to charge some of that stuff over there at the EMC center where we had to go ahead and set it up. I want him to give me the bills. And we'll, we're going to sit down. If you guys got any bills or anything that we need you to know of, you need to sit down with us in the next court meeting. We need to put something together and we can go ahead and file 10 times. She said, not just wait until the end of the year. We can go ahead and start filing on it while the money's available. So we could uh, even claim the salary for this new security. Uh, all the way. I'm going to charge him all the way clear up to June or January the 1st. That's what I had it figured out was COVID-19 money. Yeah, that's... Uh, I asked about it. That's the reason I called down there, and they okayed it. They said that uh, his salary would be fit right into what it's supposed to be. Hey, Bobby or Sharon, I don't know if you were in on that conversation. Uh it's getting difficult to spend the, the money. It's hard, not difficult from the standpoint of, of, of information. The, the amount is, is just all employees. I know finally down here at Licking Valley, we got approval. The transportation department got approval to roll all of her employees on there. Are we allowed to, to basically roll all of our employees in there or do we that directly have to tie it to some type of uh, virus 
you know, Buford's obviously easy. Uh, the, those offices, the new, the new position you just had is easy. But what about Sharon's position? I mean, she's worked on it. Uh, the, the commissioners, we, we've I had to deal with it. qualify, but I think what we can do, Tony, is – the way she talked, she told me that we had questions before we sent it in to me to call her, which I know Billy Renee. And but I was just understanding that it was not salary. We can't go back and do salary. But we can do, like this COVID-19, anything I can charge back for that, I can. But I can't go back, I don't think, and charge Karen's salary. Going forward, I wonder if her salary could be charged to it. I don't or know. Now, that's another thing we did down here. Again, that's not the exact same grant I'm talking about, but we were we were allowed to uh, charge a certain proportion because it's going to be tough to get to, what did you say, 1.4? Did you say 1.3 million? Yeah. I wrote it down. Yeah, 1.1 million. 1.1 million. It's going to be tough to get there without. Yeah. You. Well, that's the reason I said, you know, we can go ahead. If we have to, we can go ahead and order a, a machine. If we want to put a metal detector down here, we can go ahead and order charge it to that. Well, if what, about, what about the deputy salaries that have been doing the front entrance? We can charge every one of them, according to Billy Renee. Yeah, and that would allow Matt to keep some of his money into his thing. Uh, right. What about, and I'm just reaching for straws here. What What about uh, any new doors as far as doors from the standpoint we can put the new, uh, maybe a new system of a door. I, again, I'm just thinking of things that we've, we've talked about in the past, that if any doors or something, or, or since if you're gonna go with one access, I don't know that I completely agree with you, but if you're gonna go with one access, does that door need to be more of a, some type of a, standard uh, security door with, you know, I don't. Well, whatever, we'll work that out. Yeah, you're probably right. We probably could charge it and get away with it, you know, you know but I just wanted you all to be aware that uh, she called me and wanted to know why I hadn't filed anything. And I said, well, I just was waiting to try to put it together, you know. And what's the deadline for that, Bobby? Yeah, end of the year. But we can file, Andrew, you know, as much as we want, we can file every week if we want to. <laughs> that's something to file on it. But, you know, I was just thinking, you know, those, those people that's been going home every other week, those kind of, of those salary, we can charge all that salary back to yeah. that. <clears throat> yes, that's great. Yes, that that's good. That's because every other week there, that was a salary that we had to pay out so we can re we can recoup that. For, I'm assuming this is for everybody in the courthouse. So if we had charges, he didn't get a separate, separate pot of money, did he? It's it's uh, he didn't get a separate pot of money. This is for everyone in Greenwich County, uh, past office, the clerk. Uh, okay, so she's got people that work that same schedule. Yeah, she did. All of them did, really. Bobby Hall's all you know, that's the state office, but this regular, the rest of us, the sheriff's department and and Patty's both, we can charge all their off salaries. Should yeah. we send that gave us for assistance with salary of her spot salaries and then um, just reimburse us that way? You, you can do it either way, I guess. However, it's easiest for you to keep it up with the books. That's that's the part I don't you know I, I don't know which would be the best way to do it. I can just hear about half what you said there a while ago. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What was the first part of it, Sharon? I'm here it. Gave us invoices um, to help with her salary assistance. Should we file those in as our COVID or have her file her employee? I, I, I don't exactly know. We're going to have to call probably and make We need to get that okay before we do it. I'll call Billy Renee after a while if you'll get with me. And we'll figure that on out. Yeah, I think that's it. Try to get her send the list up here. Uh, I'm not so sure that even from uh, going forward, maybe the commissioner salaries and stuff, 
from the standpoint of uh, it's it it is something that we've had to deal with, right? Uh, in our and are dealing with. So uh, I don't know. At least there's some justification that maybe fifty. Uh, it might be only fifty percent of ours or your salary included. Because a lot of your stuff, I would say, a, a large portion of your time has been spent dealing with this. Right, right. But like I said, I don't think we get to go with any of that. But you know, I'll check all the places we can turn to. But I just wanted y'all get in your mind if you think of something that we need or we've spent money on and we ain't saying anything about. So just let me know. And, I, and by the next regular court meeting, I'm gonna try to have a list together, and then I'll let you all go over it. Could we use any of that money? Um you know, in uh, a stuff where we're doing, I, I know you talked about the generator, D911, but the coroner's office, where we're putting that in, and we're going to have to purchase the refrigeration equipment um, for that, because, I mean, that, that's something that really needs to be done to be able to house them um, somewhere. I hadn't thought about that, Ernie, but that's a good thought. And you're, you're right, we might be able to charge that refrigerating unit that Andrew and Emma had looked at before. Yeah, preparing for a, preparing for the possible second wave or a third right. wave. Right. And well, another thing, you know, get, get the room you know, I can charge all the people the summer help that we hired the court meeting before. When we put them on that lot, I can charge them because I don't have the jail people. And they said I can charge that back because I'm not getting the uh, jail help. Yeah. I get a, re we get to replace all that. Uh, like Tony said, a second wave, getting that out of the front and stuff, not just the uh, refrigeration unit, but just the whole room, like we had looked at in Boyd County, that you know, how every bill wants to do it over there. I mean, to be able to house if we do have a second wave and we do have to have that storage and stuff I, right now we don't we don't have anything so. right yeah we probably ought to maybe go ahead and order the one unit that we talked about there the last time yeah do we have a start time for the actual corners office we did not i mean you know I, we just when we bought that building that was in the plans yeah we were just going to kind of ease ourselves into it. So Buford and I was trying to get the other set up before I ever m talked about moving the rest I, of them. I think Andrew probably ought to get with Neil and see what um, I looked at and see what needs to be done, what he needs. And then we look and see what we can charge and use this money for, you know, while we have some of it. So that way we don't lose it, you know. True. I mean, we want to use every penny of it they give us. That's what she said. She wanted us to use it. She didn't want it sent back. Yeah. Can you do oh. that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. All right, guys. I'll I'll let you all go. We may be just keeping you on here all day. Uh, anything else come before this and this special meeting? You can't. So I, I do have one thing, Bobby. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I have had several complaints about why the courthouse is not uh, showing respects to the state of Kentucky, the uh, the deceased that's uh, passed away due to COVID-19 and not having any green lights inside or outside of the courthouse. So I did tell them that I would bring that up in this special meeting. Yeah, we'll put some up. I hadn't I hadn't even thought of it. I got them at home, but I don't have them here. Yeah, I, I, I know. So that's that's what I told them that I would that I would. Uh, I'm never down here overnight, I guess. I was reading. I hadn't noticed. Yeah, uh, I know we had the flag down halfway for that yes, reason. Yes, but like I said, I I I was just just told to, to to bring something up, and that's what I told them I would do. So I, you know, I only know if we got any what little outside lights we got, I'll have him put some green bulbs in them. But I don't I don't even know if we got enough outside to hardly to light it up. That's what I was thinking, Bobby. I don't know that we've got a whole lot. Maybe get those two floodlights and put a green. A green flood bulb in that, and maybe shine it to the to the second at night. Shine it to the second story or something. But there's not a whole lot of outside. Right. I true. got green solar lights at my house, spotlights, so I could just take a flower bed and it lights up my house. 
instead of changing our actual. Maybe you can give me the list on and we'll order a couple of them for Stanley. Okay. All right, guys, that being said. Make a motion. To I hear a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye, and I'll see you guys at the regular meeting. Thank you.